Hey, Tom here. Welcome to my channel. Tom Loves DIY. In preparation for a hike in the Grand Canyon in a few days, yeah, pretty cool, I've been uh, doing some DIYs and some hacks, so to speak, things that I'd want to take along. I'm uh, going to show some to you. They're pretty easy. They're DIYs, they're hacks, whatever you want to call them, but they're all quick and easy things. Okay, food. Almost everybody takes these things, some variety, whether it's this brand or another. Uh, I don't use them anymore. I now make my own backpacking meals using my dehydrator and some off-the-shelf stuff from the grocery store. Cheaper, way better flavor, and I haven't had any GI issues with those like I do sometimes with uh, this kind of food. So when you're making your food, heating, water, you pour boiling water in. It's handy to have one of these. The bag goes in before you put the water in. And then you tear it off, pour in the water, and this helps keep it warm. And, you know, having a hot meal rather than a warm meal is kind of nice. Now, if you don't have this material, um, this actually is something I made from a HelloFresh insulating bag. They used to use these silver bags. And the way it worked was I took a piece that was this long, folded it over, popped the bubbles along both edges, and then used my heat shrink sealing machine to seal this edge. It's good and strong. You can make it almost any size. And this, I think, might weigh an ounce. I don't know. If you don't have that, how about one of these? <laughs> Something from this company or another. Again, you can just put your meal pack inside. And this one has the advantage that when it's fairly new, there's an adhesive seal and you can fold this over. So try one of these. Do be careful though, it is plastic and it will melt. Um, I don't think there's any issue, so far I haven't had any issue, putting in boiling water. Okay, let's move on to the next one. In preparation for my uh, upcoming hike, where I'm going to be doing a day hike and I need to carry a fair amount of water and some snacks and of course first aid and a couple of other items. I didn't have one of these so I picked up a really small lightweight uh, day hike pack. This one's from a company called Four Monster. It was pretty well reviewed. Um, has a little pouch here, got your zipper, you know, a couple of uh, fairly thin straps and two water bottle pockets. I can easily carry probably a half liter in each one. Uh, and there's plenty of room inside if I want to throw more. The one thing it did not have is a chest strap. So when you put this on, depending on what you're wearing, and I will be probably wearing this shirt, it's a little slippery and I didn't want it to slide off. So what I did was took a hook from some clothing I had purchased, hand-stitched it on the end of the adjustment strap, and then sewed this one over in, I think, four spots to make places for the hook to go in. So, put the hook on, voila, a chest strap. Pretty easy. It's about a 10-minute uh, job. If you don't have a sewing machine, you can do all the stitching by hand. I often wear a hat like this when I'm hiking because I want some sun protection 360 degrees and baseball caps just don't do it for me. But as often I am in North Carolina or other green places, I'm going from sun to shade and back and forth. And while I'm in the shade, I don't want to wear my hat necessarily. So I want to take it off. But I don't want to carry it in my hand. I may have trekking poles in my hand. I don't want to stuff it in someplace. It might fall out and end up just left on the trail. So I took a 
little, uh, I guess, maybe 5 sixteenths inch wide piece of loop material. Um, what is this stuff called? Um, somebody tell me in the comments. A little bit of this stuff, it's nylon. Stitched it on so that I can then use a cheap little lightweight carabiner and attach it and then put it on wherever I want to to hold it for me. Easy on and easy off. You can either leave it on there if you want to and if you're going to do that I'd suggest you might want to make this a little shorter so it's not dangling off but it doesn't hit my neck or anything. So that's a nice little hack to uh, make it easier to manage your headgear. Another thing that I stitched up quickly, um, my uh, REI, yeah, my REI Flash 45 has two small hip belt pockets, and they're big enough to put my phone, uh, a little uh, battery pack, maybe some snacks, but my other packs don't have any hip belt pockets, so I decided to make one. This started out life as um, some sort of a travel pouch. You know, you put your toothbrush and stuff like that in it. Not, not a big deal. Pretty cheap, easy. Had a couple of them laying around. I used to do a lot of business travel. So basically, all I did was took two half-inch, yeah, it's half-inch pieces of this material. Had some scraps. Stitched some Velcro on it. Put the other side of the Velcro on the pack on the bag. This then slides over the hip belt in the front so that I have a little pouch to put things in. Only weighs a couple ounces, cost me virtually nothing, everything here I had, and it's easy to do. A few minutes of uh, quick stitching. You may have to change the size of the straps depending on the width of your hip belt. But the one that I was using this with is pretty narrow in the front. Here's one that I think you might like. Uh, I get this. Sometimes you want to refill a water bottle and it's a bit of a hassle. So I took two caps and epoxied them together. I, I like JB Weld 5-minute epoxy for this kind of thing. And then drilled a half-inch diameter hole using a Forstner bit. The way this works is, if you want to fill another bottle, I don't know why that keeps coming out. Take this, because they're all 28 millimeter standard size, screw that on, screw the empty bottle on, turn it over, pour it in. So you might want to take a 1 liter bottle and refill some 12 or 16 ounce bottles with it. It's uh, also, if you have, say, a uh, flexible water bag with a 28 millimeter, you can use that to refill your water bottles too. So a uh, buddy of mine has, I think, a three liter um, water bag. Don't want to carry three liters, but refill this, go on your day hike. Another thing that I put together, so, you know, sometimes, uh, well, one of my, two of my backpacks, don't have that great little angled water bottle holder like my flash does. They're in the back like this, and they, it's hard to get them out. You have to ask somebody to get your water bottle. Yeah. So I might want to carry it on the front, on the shoulder strap. So I took this piece of rubber, which is actually part of a toilet flush valve. A little flapper thing that goes up and down this is what holds it in place and I snipped it off and threaded through this hook which I had laying in my spare parts bin I have a lot of junk like that, that I've been carrying around for a long time and eventually it all comes in handy it's got a little rubber thing on the end of it just take this this is really really sturdy rubber put it on there and then I can hook that on a shoulder strap on one of the horizontal loops that I think they all have. That's easy to take off, get a drink, put it back on. Simple, no cost, 
virtually no weight. I mentioned the HelloFresh. Um, this is actually almost an entire bag that came with that product originally. Shiny on one side, just the bubble on the other. So, cut it open. I had to tape down one spot there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's taped here and here. This is just long enough to go from my head down to my thighs, knees. I would put this underneath my sleeping bag or sleeping pad, actually, and it would provide a lot of insulation, partly because it's so reflective. This stuff reflects, I think, uh, over 90% of the radiant energy that strikes it. It weighs very little. Just roll it up and I just secure it with rubber bands. I think this weighs five ounces, if I remember correctly, maybe five and a half. Not much at all. And of course, you could make it a little shorter just covering your torso, maybe from uh, hips to shoulders. Save a couple ounces and it'd be smaller. Also like it that doing this reuses materials that would otherwise probably end up in a landfill. I picked up this little light. It comes with this little tiny beaner. It's called a Splash Flash. It's just a few bucks. I think I got it on Amazon probably. And I wanted it so that I could hang it from the top of my tent and give me a nice little light. It's not very many lumens. You can see, not super bright, but it'll do the job. I'll have some light in there and not have to get out my headlamp or a heavy flashlight. The other interesting thing about this, and it's something I learned backpacking in Canada back in my youth, that was on a motorcycle trip in West Virginia with a guy I worked with, Bobby Joe. Here's what you can do with this. Get a little uh, container, probably the container store, Wally Mart, Target, almost any place. Get a little container like that. You turn the light on, you drop it inside, and you get a lamp, a little lantern. Uh, in the dark, this produces a great little glow no super bright spots that will bother your eyes. You can put it in an either direction. You know, put it in that way or put it in this way. That might be even better. But a nice camping lantern. Um, just uses a standard battery and lasts for several hours. So I think that's uh, the last of my hacks for the day. And I'd recommend that you do some of these things to make your life on the trail a little easier. Hope to see you out there.